Remember when the Discovery Channel attempted to get their guy eaten by an anaconda? Anacondas are monstrous in size. Heavy, and that's how these snakes get their prey down. And part of the reason that they grow so large is so they can just use their weight to overpower whatever they come into contact with. A member of Reptile Channel was cited as a quote unquote snake scientist. She, her she knows, and there's nothing I can do. And at this angle, my legs are not Let's helping me. Let's back it up a little bit. She's moving her this is two or three years before Reptile Channel was created. I'm trying to move my legs. When the Discovery Channel aired an episode titled Eaten Alive, where they attempted to get an anaconda to eat a person, a news organization contacted a member of Reptile Channel. Out of the constriction field. The Discovery She's Channel stunt so disappointed right millions of viewers. <laughs> Over four million, to be exact. Totally <laughs> One of the highest rated nature programs in history. <laughs> of course, when Reptile Channel came Just along, like, we blew the doors off no viewership. We made history. My strength is nothing compared to hers. How dumb is this? <laughs> anyway, where we dismiss the possibility of the man in his armored protective suit being eaten by the anacondas seen in the video. Toxic carbon fiber, very lightweight, Good very grief. strong. <laughs> That's awesome. Whole upper body's got 200 pounds of snake on it. <laughs> So everything that I'm doing doesn't work, and I can just hear the chute tightening. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> unbelievably heavy, and that's how these snakes get their prey down. Unbelievable. And part of the reason that they grow so large is so they can just use their weight to overpower whatever they come into contact with. I mean, I'm trying to move, and I can't move at all. She's got me down here. I'm just facing Can you down imagine being swallowed by a giant snake? He's trying to move his legs. Amateurs. A friend of Reptile Channel is a veterinarian. He specializes in reptiles, specifically giant snakes. Take a journey with us as we shrink down in size and travel inside a giant anaconda. Seriously? You better get your acid-proof uniform on because, ready or not, we're going in. Have you ever wondered what the viewpoint of food is like? You've never seen anything like this before. As seen here, the esophagus is the passage from the mouth. It extends from the pharynx to the stomach and is positioned dorsal to the trachea. Snakes often don't constrict small food items. They just grab and gulp. The doctor believes a reason this chicken survived is because of the bird's size. Created an air pocket ahead of it, allowing it to breathe. This is a 20-foot green anaconda. And snakes rarely get larger than this. A fully grown chicken. This is amazing. So small compared to the anaconda, she didn't even bother to constrict. By the way, quick mention, we want to say thank you. You've made this the fastest growing, most popular reptile channel in history. We average between one to two million views per video. You guys rock. You're also crazy, every one of you. This is a train wreck of a channel. From day one, Reptile Channel was built on the premise that people love watching nature. This channel is like Shark Week, except we actually educate.
pretty well vascularized. Supplies blood to and from the anaconda's powerful muscles. The chicken is coated in saliva. Great video. Powerful muscles push it along the smooth, slimy passageway. This is pretty amazing. It's already in the belly. How cool is that? Aww. The stomach is where both mechanical and chemical digestion occurs. The anaconda's stomach will begin to secrete very strong acids. Powerful acids combined with protein digesting enzymes will begin working on its meal. A low pH liquid surrounds the prey that favors pepsin activity. Pepsin is the primary digestive enzyme that breaks down proteins into smaller chains known as polypeptides. And finally into amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. The predator will arrange the amino acids into proteins it can use. Breaking down of protein is also utilized as a source of energy. Hey, chicken, I'd close my eyes if I were you. Snakes are amazing reptiles. They evolved to exploit many ecological niches and amazingly well suited for their environments. Please make sure to comment about anything you want, good or bad. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join us this season and not miss a single episode of Reptile Channel. <laughs> Please subscribe.